In this screencast I'm going to have a look at how to add an image gallery to one of our collaborative spaces and in this case the collaborative space is a student collaborative learning space and it's about aspects of weather and I'm hoping to add um, an image gallery to the right hand side of this page that contains photographs of different cloud types and I'm hoping that the students will use those photographs and try and identify what type of clouds they are using this website here that's in the iframe from the Bureau of Meteorology as a, a guide to what kind of clouds are in the image gallery. So to add the image gallery I need to go down to the global navigation bar to the actions menu, add applications, then begin to write the words image gallery and that will pop up, drag the application across to the page where I would like it to be and then I can remove that applications menu. So here's the image gallery here and an image gallery works on a set of folders each folder containing a number of images. Folders can also contain um, subfolders for, for different categories of images and that makes these images available to all members of the space. So I'm going to click on this button here, the add folder button and that will bring up um, the place for me to name that folder and down here in my drop down menu I've got the word clouds from a previous time so I'll just click on that it tells me the name of that and I'll save that folder okay so here we have the uh, folder called clouds over here it tells us that there are no subfolders within that folder and at the moment there are no entries or no photographs within that folder we also as owners of the space get an actions menu and that would allow us to delete the folder or perhaps edit the name of the folder if that's what we wanted to do. So I'll click on the folder called clouds and that allows me to now add an entry. At the moment it's an empty folder, I'm going to add an entry or a photograph to that folder and I'm going to select it from my content. So by clicking on select it's opened up my content portal and from here I have a number of photographs of clouds that I have loaded previously. So if I just click on the clouds number one, I'll select that photograph. I'm going to copy the word clouds because I'll use that as the tag. And when I save that, I've added that clouds photograph to the folder within my image gallery. I'm going to add another entry, so I'll repeat that process. Go to the select button. Again, it opens content and I'll pick my second picture, clouds number two. I've already got the word clouds in the memory so I'll just paste that into there as the tag and save that. And that's the process for adding photographs to folders. Now I might just add one more. And this time I'll show you how you would upload a photograph at the same time. So I'll go to select and supposing that the photograph was actually on your desktop and you wanted to add that to the content library, this is the point at which you would do that. So rather than selecting an image that's already uploaded, like these ones, you would click on upload images, add files, choose the photograph that you would like from your computer, so navigate to that photograph. Again, I've got that word clouds in my memory. So I'll click on the upload button and then I'm presented with the copyright page. So if I click on the, the appropriate button, so in privacy, this photograph doesn't contain any personal information. It has been sourced from publicly available publications. I do have the appropriate copyrights because I've downloaded that photograph from a website called um, Morgfile which offers uh, free copyright free photographs for people to use. So I'll click on continue and that photograph will upload and when it becomes available an OK message will appear in the right hand side of the screen there. So I've got the tick, it's not far away. 
here we go so just click on OK and there that is the photograph that I've uploaded now to select that one click on select the photograph appears I'll paste in the tag click the Save button and I've now added that photograph to my image gallery as well so now I have three photographs in my image gallery if I return to full page I'll see the image gallery as the students will see it so when they come along they'll see that there are three entries and if they clicked on the folder they would get to view those photographs and they could then use the photographs from there now, there's probably a couple of things that you might want to know about image galleries when setting them up with um, students or use members of your spaces and that's permissions so if we have a look at this permissions tab here it's on the top level and it's how we would organize the permissions for all users in the group so the default setting for this one is that the owner is able to add a folder but that's all and there's many many different um, roles that are listed here and most of them we don't need to worry about the one that's most important is this one down here which is community member and we look at what options the community member has because that will tell you what members of your space are able to do and at the moment the members of our space are not able to add folders because we haven't put the tick there and that's the default setting and I'm going to leave it that way so I'll just click on the submit button but there is actually another layer or level of permissions and that's the permissions for each folder so if I go to the clouds folder I will see that there is also a permissions tab just here under the heading that pertains to just this folder so if I click on that one you'll see a range of different options so for this folder I could choose that um, members of the space were able to add their own entries so add their own photographs add subfolders delete photographs that are in in those folders change the permissions so access this part of the um, alternet update and view now at the moment as the owner of the space I have all of those because I'm going to use this as a way for students to identify um, particular cloud types I don't want them in this particular case to be able to add their own photographs so I'm going to remove the tick that says that a community member is able to add an entry and then I'll submit that change and now my image gallery is complete.